country news. India-Russia defense deals. Six things India got from old friend Russia. Prime Minister Narendra Modi called out to India's old friend Russia in a joint address at the sidelines of the BRICS summit before holding wide-ranging talks with Russian President Vladimir Putin which covered the entire expanse of bilateral engagement. The engagement witnessed 16 agreements being signed between the two countries. Here are the key agreements the two nations signed. 1. Deal for S-400 Trium F air defense systems from Russia worth over $5 billion. The long-range air defense missile system has the capability to destroy incoming hostile aircraft, missiles and even drones at ranges of up to 400 kilometers. India and Russia have been in talks for over a year for the purchase of at least five systems of S-400 that will be a game-changer in the region. The S-400 Trium F. NATO reporting name. SAR-21 Growler, previously known as S-300PMU-3, is an anti-aircraft weapon system developed by Russia's Almaz Central Design Bureau in the 1990s as an upgrade of the S-300 family. It has been in service with the Russian armed forces since 2007. The S-400 uses three different missiles to cover its entire performance envelope. These are the extremely long-range 4.0 and 6, long-range 4.8 and 6 and medium-range 9M96 missile. What can it target? 1. Can engage multiple targets up to a range of 380 km. 2. It has a tracking range of 600 km. 3. It can hit targets at a speed of 17,000 km an hour faster than any existing aircraft. 4. Targets can be strategic aircrafts. Spy planes, fighter jets, stealth aircrafts, airborne early warning aircraft and missiles. 5. For India, it will restrict the Pakistan Air Force's ability to operate even within its. 2. A $500 million push into the Indian infrastructure space. Along with an equal investment by the newly formed National Infrastructure Investment Fund NIIF. To form a $1 billion Russian Indian Investment Fund. Announcements were also made to boost ties in sectors like trade and investment, hydrocarbons, space and smart cities. Modi said this will help advance infrastructure partnership. 3. A joint venture to build Russian camel helicopters in India. The plan is to build at least 200 helicopters the defense forces need, and is part of Modi's drive to build a defense industrial base in India. 4. Joint agreement on shipbuilding and specialist training in Andhra Pradesh. Fire. The two leaders also dedicated the Unit 2 of Kudankulam nuclear power plant and witnessed foundation laying of its Unit 3 and 4. Modi said the dedication of Kudankulam 2 and laying of foundation concrete were examples of tangible results of India-Russia cooperation in the field. 6. Zero tolerance policy towards terrorism and setting up of a science and technology commission. Another important deal was for 4 Admiral Grigorovich class Project 11356 guided missile stealth frigates, reading out a statement to the media in the presence of Putin. The Prime Minister appreciated Russia's understanding and support of India's actions to fight cross-border terrorism, an oblique reference to India's surgical strike across the lock targeting terror launch pads. Russia's clear stand on the need to combat terrorism mirrors our own. We deeply appreciate Russia's understanding and support of our actions to fight cross-border terrorism that threatens our entire region, Modi said. The Russian president, on his part, said that both India and Russia have close cooperation in fighting terrorism. Modi said both he and Putin noted the similarity of views on the situation in Afghanistan and turmoil in West Asia, on trade ties. PM Modi said both countries continue to expand, diversify and deepen economic engagement. Businesses and industry between our two countries are connected more deeply today. Trade and investment ties are on the upswing. And, with President Putin's backing, we hope to fast-track India's association with Eurasian Economic Union Free Trade Agreement. He said, Modi said success of the India-Russia bilateral summit shines a spotlight on the abiding strength of India-Russia strategic partnership. It also highlights our strong convergence of views and positions on pressing international and regional issues, he added. We also agreed to work closely to respond to the challenges posed by the unsettled nature of the global economic and financial markets. 
our close collaboration at the United Nations, BRICS, East Asia Summit, G20 and Shanghai Cooperation Organization makes our partnership truly global, both in its scope and coverage, Modi said. Oh.